bro i was not expecting this to turn up like this like what the hell is going on <laughs> it really hurts i i can't see well no shit bro you just lost your eye <laughs> there's no escape it's about to attack again what is up guys and welcome to the channel as you know it's your boy epic blades and we're here with sea of stars it's a rpg or turn-based rpg following the story of a brother and a sister basically that use some magic uh, it's like lunar magic solar magic or sun magic uh, and they're going on some type of adventure i don't know too much else about the game but shout out to my boy merlin because uh he actually brought this game to my attention because he was interested in it so i resubbed to xbox game pass for a dollar of course because you know i love those deals and i was like you know might as well add this to the channel so i hope you guys enjoy if not you know hit the dislike button because that way you're interacting with the video but since I'm a big fan of uh, turn-based RPGs, I'm just going to try to do this whole series on the channel. Uh, we're going to go with the new game, uh, just because first time I tried to play, I actually clicked it too quickly, so I wasn't prepared. <laughs> sea of Stars has two main characters. Select the one who will lead the party. So you get to choose between Valer, a monk born on the winter solstice. She walks the path of the guardian goddess Luna. And you got the blade dancer born on the summer solstice walks the path of the guardian god Solon. Now, because he's a blade dancer, I kind of want to lead the party with him, but they say you can switch it up so it doesn't even matter. Uh, blue's my favorite color. And also I prefer to, you know, work at night, be up at night. I prefer it to be cool, calm, collected, and that's what the moon reminds me of. So I'm going to go with Belair. Just as a... A quick notice pretty much for everybody watching uh 70 percent if not i think 75 percent of people that watch my videos are not subscribed hit that goddamn subscribe button help your boy out appreciate it welcome to the great archives adventurer i suppose curiosity brought you here an important trait to be sure i am the archivist an immortal versed in the ways of alchemy but perhaps you knew that already. After spending millennia cataloging the many events of countless timelines, I decided to return here to mull over everything I had seen. In my musings about the stories that filled these books and scrolls, I had a recent epiphany. It seems that in my haste, I may have overlooked the very thing I was hoping to find. As such, there is one special story I wish to revisit, one deserving of a witness. Oh. A witness, you say? And should the mist of time allow a slight alteration, I believe the ray of hope that was once offered may yet bloom. So I really like this style uh, that this game has. It's like a throwback to, you know, our our RPGs, our turn-based RPGs that we had growing up. Um, I played a lot of Pokemon, Digimon, uh, even played like, you know, some Mega Man here and there as well. So I'm, Really loving a lot of this art style here. So walk with me tonight and we will explore a tale of high adventure, of magic and deceit, of friendship and wonder. But mostly, a tale of heroism. One that I believe will offer valuable insight in the search for a resolution to the throes of the Fleshmancer. Okay, the Fleshmancer. Red, so I'm assuming you're bad. <laughs> now I remain a bit lost amidst all of these timelines and all their subtle variations but I know just the one to make for a perfect starting point. All right. Let us see what we find in there. Ah, yes. Our story begins in a world visited by the Fleshmancer generations prior, causing much turmoil and leaving a mark that is yet to be fully cleansed. Somewhere on Evermist Island, two brave children of the Solstice are on their way to meet with an immortal spirit. In order to become fully fledged solstice warriors, they will need to learn how to use magic without using magic. What? <laughs> how to use magic without using magic? Is that like a way of saying like be sneaky with it? I like that loading screen at the bottom with the kids running. Mountain trail, okay. All right, we made it to the mountain trail. So far, so good. 
So the Elder Mist lives somewhere here, huh? You think it's just another test? Could be. But it sure beats sitting at the Academy. And sewing. Ah, yeah, I'm sure glad that's over with. Apply your soul for the will you weave into it shall be your sole defense in times of greatest need. While the lessons taught here may appear to be lost in you, something deep inside is compelled to learn. <laughs> Not mocking them, though. Hey, the sun will be setting soon. We should prepare to set up camp. Let's split up and search for a good spot. Okay, he's going left. I guess I'll go right. Time for some scouting. I'm coming through. Yeah, what the hell? Like... You guys already like start us off in a in a fight. Let's look at oh we can't even use that. So they're gonna just make us forcibly do a basic ass attack. Vulnerable. Okay. Whoa. Okay. So we're just gonna hit you there. Let's see what happens. Okay, you died, but I noticed that like one of the blocks like disappeared. Rugavis wasn't kidding. These feel easier to fight already. Let's see where this leads. Yep. Base bar to climb. Can't go that way. Yo, this music is fire. What the heck is that thing? It's like a weird Pokemon. <laughs> oh, we gotta we gotta fight you? You did all that just to fight us up here. You're gonna... Yeah, I was like, you're gonna just take normal damage. But it looks like our health regens after, like, each fight. Because, uh, we took 12 damage in the previous fight. And, uh, we were back to full. Ouch, tough one, huh? Let's try this. Crescent Arc. So this one smash... Smashes enemies in an arc. And then, for the Lunar Rank, Lunar Magic Projectiles that can bounce to multiple targets. That's... Not too bad. Can this enemy only attack every two turns though? Because I see the little stopwatch uh, thing that has a two on it. Boss Shiver. Vulnerable. Valer, found anything? Just a dead end, how about you? Nothing of note, but the way to the top is definitely through here. The sun is setting. Come over, I'll get a fire going. I'll be right there. Can't wait for more tomato clubs. Can we interact with this? Yeah. Unroll the ladder. So now we can... Okay, so now we can go down and cut through there. I wish they kind of let you jump, though, like... As often as you want, without having to interact with, like, these ledges and ladders. I wonder if they send the brother the path that we just took if we choose to, like, lead with them. Oh, okay. Oh. That's different. But at the same time, that was pretty neat. Let's fight you. Okay. So, now we know uh, that wasn't a vulnerable attack. Yeah, it looks like our health regens at the end of each fight. Okay, you're not vulnerable to that either. But no, I'll try the I'll try the other attack next time. Are you not me? Okay, there we go. Oh, uh, we got another one of you. We're gonna fight with our bro. Oh no. Ah, but it doesn't beat the face you made the first time you tried smashing a sunball. I can still hear the headmaster gloating. As I said, whether by paying attention in class or by recklessly attempting to hit a projectile with your open palm, you will learn the first rule of solar magic. To be fair, you did learn. Oh yeah, that only took once. You ever miss those years? 
Before training, just being kids, always daydreaming and getting in trouble. And making mistakes. He's like, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, Valer. I didn't mean... It's okay. I understand why he wouldn't want to join us after what happened. It's just... I wish he had said goodbye, you know? After 10 years of not seeing his face, just to know that he's all right. And that we're still friends, too. Why did we have to get ahead of ourselves anyway? Oh, Garl. Garl! Garl! Ten years ago in the village of Moon Cradle. My weapon will be something. Ugh. I don't know what happened there. My weapon will be something that hits really hard. And I'll pick a fast one. We'll be unstoppable. So this is like a childhood friend that <laughs> I guess we pissed off. Imagine all the wonders we'll find after we leave Evermist Island. I want to see the sleeper. What's that? He's like, you don't know about the freaking sleeper. <laughs> You've never heard of the sleeper? Stories say it's a giant serpent. It's been sleeping curled up around a mountain since even before there were traveling historians to record it. No way. Sure is, and it's super dangerous too. But don't worry, it can't wake up. Why not? Apparently there's holes in the mountain and the wind blows through them and that plays a melody that keeps it asleep. Whoa. I want to see it too. Oh, what was that? It's the bell. Erlina and Brugavas, or Brugaves? I don't even know how to pronounce this. Uh, we're just gonna say Bee Gees. <laughs> Erlina and Bee Gees are back. Quick, maybe we can catch them before they go to the academy. Oh damn, just like that they transition me. Let's look at this, it's like for saving? Ah, okay, yes, yeah, I know my... I know my games like that. So those books are for saving. I don't know, maybe for if you play the fire uh, brother or sun solstice brother, you end up having to go to the fireplace or fire pit. You're a merchant. Are you still playing in that little cave down below? Oh, that's all you say? Nothing else to like interact in here, huh? This music is awesome. It like definitely is a vibe. These crops are our main source of food. It's hard work, but I am reminded every day when we all eat together that the effort is well worth it. Damn straight. I love how they don't give us like any real direction. I hope you're not getting into trouble again. Damn, are we really known for like fucking up like that? Okay, nothing there, right? Can I press M for map? I guess not. Oh, we just had to walk over here. Hey, wait. Oh, snap. What the? Yo! <laughs> Was not expecting that. There you are. Bee Gees. <laughs> Playing in your secret hideout again. We were training. I think I can use magic now. Is that so? Let's see it then. Damn. Oh, she ready. Whoa. <laughs> Come closer, Zale. Open your palm and concentrate. What about you, Valer? Have you been training too? Every day. I bet I'm stronger than you now. Oh my gosh, she's she's one of those. <laughs> ah, I'm not, or I'm sure you are. Come here then. Oh wait, he didn't do his magic though. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know she ain't doing shit. I chose the weak character. <laughs> Whoa, easy now. I can't report to the headmaster if you knock me out. Damn. That was awesome, Zale. You did it. Wait, that was good? Solstice Warriors. 
If you are done with your babysitting duties, I would hear your report. Right away, Headmaster. I like killing a vibe, though. Can we go, too? Believe me, once you enter Zenith Academy, you'll wish you hadn't. Let's go, Bee Gees. Hey, the full moon is out. He's right. Want to go to the Forbidden Cave Cavern again? We tried already. I can't open it. Yeah, but last time we decided maybe the full moon could make the rune more sensitive. I'm sure it'll work, and Moraine will be so impressed. He'll take you two in for training right away, and then we'll finally be allowed to leave the island. Hold up, though, girl. Like, what? What can you do, bruh? Like, why are you with the squad? You just, you just have knowledge. Is that it? You can't do magic. What if he gets mad and delays our training instead? Nah, no way. Well, we can worry about that after I open it. I mean, if I open it. Damn girl, I have some confidence. All right, let's go. I'm going to assume it's this way. <laughs> Cause that's where the other two dudes came from, Elena and Bee Gees. Brugades and Brugavs. See, and this like throws me back to uh, like Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy games. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna wanna hit that save. Dang, this actually looks pretty dope. We made it. Time to stop for a snack. What? I'm not hungry. Yeah, we just left a few minutes ago. Look, it's not a real adventure if you don't eat a snack on the road. Plus, I made something special for the occasion. Here. Oh, that's why we got him in the group. <laughs> he he bring it sandwiches. I... Wow, that's really good. Yeah, no kidding. Glad you like it. It's the jam. I used a bit of sap from Celestial Willow. You could get in trouble for that. Only if you tell. <laughs> He's like, alright, I'm about to open his shit. <laughs> Stand back. <laughs> alright, how do I do this? Maybe like Erlina showed me? Try opening your palm and concentrating. You got this, Valer. Oh! Oh, snap! Oh, I knew it. Are you telling me nobody heard that bell, though? <laughs> Not Zale's surprise. It worked. <laughs> He's like, what the hell? <laughs> I I did it. I finally did it. Let's go. Let's go. Party over here. Party over there. So, uh, what now? The headmaster must have heard the bell ring. Did we just wait for him to show up? Might as well enter. It could be our first adventure. See, Garl's is just going to get us in trouble. This boy was like, let's go open this door. Now he's like, let's go in. We already opened it, right? <laughs> yeah, and then the headmaster will, will know we're not afraid. That's what we're worried about, is him knowing if we're afraid? This is exciting. Let's go. Forbidding Cavern. I need to add a counter to like how many times I say like the music is amazing. And we're just gonna keep that going throughout like all the videos. <laughs> There's monsters over there, let's hide. Yeah, cause we can't beat them. I thought Evermist Island was safe. I guess that's only true for Moon Cradle. We should go back, they look dangerous. Yeah, good call. Oh snap, I knew this was gonna happen. Watch out, there's another one. This is bound, we're surrounded. Maybe try to use your powers. We're not ready for this. I I don't know, just try. Okay, let, let me focus. Watch out, it's preparing something. Come on, come on. We're gonna do like a Jimmy Neutron, like, thank, thank, brain blast. 
Blair, watch out. Ooh. Garl. Oh, he lost his eye? No, Garl. My, my eye. I was not expecting this to turn up like this. Like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> it really hurts. I, I can't see. Well, no shit, bro. You just lost your eye. <laughs> There's no escape. It's about to attack again. Is that Erlina? Or is that the headmaster? So it was you. As resourceful as you are reckless, I see. Headmaster Garl needs help. It feels better. But is his eye still missing or not? Like anyone born in Moon Cradle, a regular kid, what Garl needs is not to concern himself with the affairs of the Solstice Warriors. Hey, you ain't had to be mean. I'm really sorry, Headmaster. It was all my idea. Hey. Be thankful that the only cost of this lesson was an eye, young lad. As for the two of you, if you are so eager to receive training, I shall oblige. Follow me. Wait, so like, how come Garl doesn't fuck with us no more then? Seems like after this, like, we sh still should have been homies, right? Make sure to treat the wound and soothe the poor kid. He's not the complaining type, but if the pain seems to return, please send for me. Understood, Headmaster. You will not see your friend for a very long time. If you have any parting words, speak them now. I... Can't he come and stay with us? How long is very long? Like, like a week? Ah, the eagerness of youth. It takes years to properly train Solstice Warriors. Years? No way. But... Your friends have much to learn. I would suggest you use that time to reflect upon what happened today. With any luck, it will help you forget any ideas of getting involved with a burden that is not yours to bear. Guys, don't forget about me. Never. We'll train really hard. Maybe it won't take so long. Y'all didn't even, like, dap your boy up, hug him, or nothing. You didn't say, like, you know, I really appreciate the sandwiches. Welcome to Zenith Academy. In this ancient place of knowledge, you will learn everything you need to know in order to become true solstice warriors. We've been waiting for this so for so long. When do we start? He's like, now. Tomorrow. Though I believe a proper introduction is in order. Careful now. Welcome to the classroom in the sky. Why is it not? Okay, there we go. Whoa, it's beautiful. I'm feeling a weird resonance like when I open the forbidden cavern. Good on you for noticing that. Getting closer to the stars helps new recruits get acquainted with their innate magic. It shows great promise that you were able to feel it before, and Zale too, from what Erlina told me. Oh, it was just a small burst. They have no idea how much potential they have. It is probably for the best. Now, in the many years you will spend at Zenith Academy, you will learn about the duties incumbent upon Solstice Warriors, of the magic you are destined to wield and the evils it is meant to cleanse. We'll learn how to fight too, right? Naturally. We'll spend your days training and studying, but most importantly, sewing. Sewing? 
<laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> Sewing. <laughs> That's what we came here for. So, gang. <laughs> gang, gang. That sounds boring. Oh, I can assure you that it is. A mandatory task nonetheless. All who would join our order begin by weaving their will into an enchanted piece of fabric, the staple of the Solstice Warrior. It is their most prized possession, guaranteeing light in the darkest places and a measure of protection against the minions of the Fleshmancer. But first, you must learn of your duties. Train until you cannot fill your limbs, and then train some more. What? Bruh. <laughs> Once both your body and mind are ripe with potential, you will create a magic piece of fabric, worthy of the very stars. You will then be sent out beyond the Forbidden Cavern to meet with the Elder Mist, for it alone may officially grant the title of Solstice Warrior. Sewing. I understand it is not what you were hoping for, but it is what is required for you for the time being. Years of sewing? <laughs> that will be all for today. Alright, so we better get our sewing on. You'll be spending a lot of time in these halls, so you should make yourselves at home. To your left is the training room. You are to go there first thing in the morning. Just above is the way to my chambers. It is off limits, of course. And to your right are the dormitories. Just make sure you pick a bed aligned with your innate magic. Feel free to look around when you go to sleep when you're ready. Good night. Alright. I actually have like a love-hate relationship with how they take us from like those cutscenes to then putting us instantly back into the world. Okay, so you can't interact with bookcases. I'm so used to seeing a bookcase and interacting with it. But let's go check out this training area. What up, cleaning lady? Oh, there you are. Maureen finally decided that you were ready. I guess so. Like, what else is in here? Because these are like ladders? Okay, let's go up. Oh, that's all we can do? Just climb them? Or maybe that's part of like the training is climbing to the top. Hitting it, coming back down, something. But all right, let's head over to the dorm. I remember when Arlena and Brugov's or Bee Gees were your age. They wouldn't stop running. Ugh, I feel old now. I mean, you, yeah, look at that, that side frame. You are old. I don't know what the hell she's talking about. I feel old. You look it too. Oh snap, this looks pretty nice. This is spacious as hell. Take a look, okay. I thought it was spacious. Oh, we can, we can interact. Okay, sewing basics. <laughs> oh man, I thought we were actually gonna learn something. <laughs> she was disappointed, she was like, oh hell no. <laughs> but uh, you know what guys, I'm gonna end this episode off right here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps out the video a lot. Now subscribe to my channel if you've yet to subscribe. Like I said, 75, 80% of y'all watching are not even subscribed. Hit the sub button, lets me know you enjoy the content you see right here, and I'll keep on producing this content for you. But with that said, stay sharp. Later.